Hello once again, this is Magma WK, and today we're going to take a look at Yellow Bear. Yellow Bear is an arcade May style game made for the PC. Yellow Bear involves this bear wanting this cash and these diamonds. This is the first game developed by NotchaSoft.com and was released on April 2009. I got a request to review this game about a week ago to see what this simple yet fun and affordable game has to offer. The object is to collect as many diamonds and cash to increase your score before Yellow Bear loses all of his, or is it her, health. You want to avoid bumping the ever-changing blocks and the edges of the mazes to keep on moving. You can gain more health by getting a heart which increases your hearts by one. Each heart is worth six bumps. You can hit the help menu for more information, controls, and various commands. And now, the basics with the basics. The graphics for the most part are colorful with clear objects and bright, happy colors. Yellow Bear's detail was a bit hard for me to see. It may just be my 17-inch monitor. I played in 1024 resolution for my evaluation video. When I tried it on this 800 resolution, the graphics were a bit off, but it enlarged enough where I could see Yellow Bear having a good variety of animation. There is only one tune lasting about a minute or so before looping. It is fitting for the game, not much for sound effects though, but nothing displeasing to the ear. Of course you can turn off the sound in the options menu. The play control is a mixed bag leaning towards your personal preference. Moving Yellow Bear is done by tapping the arrow key in the direction you want to go. Holding the key down is possible, but not recommended, as that can get you an ace bump spam. Yellow Bear likes to slide, meaning once he goes in one direction, he'll keep going till he hits a block. When he bumps the block, he'll immediately move in the opposite direction. At times, I felt like Yellow Bear was a little bit bigger than what he looked like, and I had a trouble squeezing through some narrow places where I sure I could go to. After a while, it felt a bit drained with some long games where my luck was bad with mazes. Fortunately, there is a quick save, load, and pulse features if you want to take a breather. There are three speeds. Slow which is excellent for the younger and elderly players, although the speed makes the floating cash much harder to catch up to. Average, which is great for most people, the speed which I mostly use, and of course fast, which is fast. Maybe too much of a jump between average and fast, although hardcore gamers could probably use this mode and their reflexes for high scores. Speaking of scores, you'll get 25 points for a stationary diamond. There will always be 4 diamonds on the screen. The floaty cash will score you 100 points and repops immediately. Difficulty increases at 500, 1500, and 4000 points by changing the maze at a faster pace. At the end of the game, when you lose all your health, you get a scoreboard. It gives you a few goals to to go for, although I personally never got above 5,000 without cheating. Overall, Yellow Bear is a replayable, simple, and enjoyable game for the casual non-gamer of all ages, but it might be a keeper or worth a shot for the semi-hardcore gamer that likes the challenge. Be sure to visit www.nacholesoft.com for more info on the getting this game. Magma WK, signing off.